We are looking at a model of the digestive system and uh, one of the important organs uh, associated with the digestive system is the, is the liver. So uh, we see uh, uh, the model of the liver here and uh, we notice that the liver is divided into lobes and uh, there are uh, uh, two major lobes, uh, the left lobe and the right lobe. And uh, there are uh, two minor lobes uh, uh, shown in here and also uh, in here. Uh, the liver is an important organ because uh, it does have uh, many functions. One of those functions is, uh, is obvious on the model because we see the gallbladder and the gallbladder stores the bile. So one function for the liver is to make the bile. And we have to remember that the bile is made from uh, uh, recycling of uh, old or dead red blood cells. Uh, the liver is also important because it's associated with the breakdown of protein and generating urea, which is a toxic waste product that will be removed by the kidneys. Uh, we also know that uh, the liver is, a, is an organ that will uh, store glycogen. Uh, so when the body needs a source of energy, a glucose, the glycogen will be released into the blood and will be used by the cells. Um, the liver is an also important organ because you will produce many of the proteins uh, that are found in the blood plasma. And so... Uh, uh, you can list at least probably other three or four uh, examples of uh, uh, functions of, uh, of the liver. So the liver is an important organ and uh, for that reason we have to learn a little bit about uh, the microscopic anatomy of, uh, of the liver. So uh, this particular model in here, it shows that uh, the, lobe, the lobes of the liver are divided into a smaller units. These are the functional units of the liver. And each one of these units is known as lobules. And you can recognize the lobules because in the center of the lobule, there is a vein. That vein is actually called the central vein. And um, so if we take a look at one of these lobules, uh, we, uh, we can see that uh, uh, the liver cells in the, in the lobules are organized around areas that are filled with the blood. These areas are known as the liver sinusoids. So the blood that comes from the digestive tract will pass through these sinusoids and uh, these are the liver cells or the hepatocytes so they will pick up the nutrients from the blood coming from the digestive system also the liver cells will uh, remove any toxins that is in the food or the blood uh, that's a bring coming from the digestive tract and uh, that's part of the detoxification function of uh, of the liver we we also notice if we if we look at the model carefully that uh, lining these sinusoids are special cells that's one of them in there that's known as the liver macrophages there is another one in this area here and uh, these are white blood cells and uh, they are important in removing pathogens and uh, removing uh, dead cells. The model here also shows small green lines. These are known as bile canaliculi. Uh, that's where the bile will start from the liver cells and then it will travel from there to a bile duct. So this section in here is actually a bile duct and uh, that will take the bile to uh, uh, the gallbladder. So that's some of the anatomy and the functions of uh, the liver.